Hi, this is Stephanie Poetry, and you're tuned in to Once to Watch. Well, Stephanie Poetry is a singer songwriter from Jakarta, Indonesia. She's just going through it right now, guys. <laughs> but she's very grateful for the opportunity she's been given to literally do what she loves the most as a job. And because of that, she's very grateful to all of her supporters. Um, so before this interview, I was actually at the doctor's office because, you know, you gotta do your annual checkup, loves. Um, and after this, I'm probably gonna play The Sims or Apex Legends, depending on who's free. <laughs> A lot of people inspire me, um, especially in the music industry, but also just like in day-to-day -day life. Um, if I may be so honest, genuinely, a lot of the people who inspire me are all of you guys, you know, who who are so supportive despite me kind of being MIA. <laughs> like, I'm pretty quiet uh, on social media sometimes, and the fact that everybody is still so supportive, it inspires me to want to just like, keep going and make more content and music for everybody, you know? So my average day, I would say, is I would wake up kind of late, because I'm like a night owl, and then I would do a session, and I would go home, and then I would eat, and then I would play a game. Uh, and then before I go to bed, either I watch a movie, or I draw, or I call with people. But in every morning, I will have my tea. Hot. So I need to say it raising was kind of crazy, because literally the year before I got signed to them, uh, my most played song of the year was Midsummer Madness. So I was already a huge fan. It was just crazy. I never thought I would ever get the chance to, you know, be a part of something so great. I would say what makes 88 Rising really special is that at least coming in as an artist, it felt really nice to know that we're all kind of standing for something you know, and trying to support each other, even people who aren't in our label, other Asian musicians and Asian American, you know, people in the industry. And yeah, I, I don't know, it's really nice to know that it's like a community of people just trying to promote others, you know, and making sure that we're all good and happy. AMPM was like super just like about COVID. Or like pre-COVID stuff. Everything was so focused on that that I, because I was so like focused on the fact that we're in a pandemic that I didn't really like have the chance to really feel anything else to write about. But now that I, you know, like I moved out, kind of started settling back into normalcy, if you will. I, I have a lot more to, to write about, and I'm a lot more inspired, and you know. Hopefully the next stuff isn't so focused on the fact that I'm stuck inside. <laughs> Picture Myself is a song about long distance and you know maybe a couple of you guys went through some long distance during the pandemic because you guys couldn't see each other because you're so far away and you can travel a lot, a lot. You know, that was me. <laughs> and it's basically about like that confusion of like, is it worth it? It sucks to love someone so much that when you're not with them, it hurts and imagine that but it's like you're physically far away and the time zones and so you can't call because like when you're asleep they're up and when they're asleep you're up blah. so i've been in a couple <laughs> but i would say for the one that didn't end well um i realized that i was the only one putting effort in and so the moment i stopped putting in effort it was just silence for like weeks and i think it's important to realize that like it has to be a two-sided thing you know like you're only half of the relationship and you can put all all your heart into it but if they're not you know it's really hard i would probably tell myself to create more things for yourself everything i made was for school like if i made art, it was for a school project. If I wrote a song, it was for something related to school. I guess like now, I'm still in that mindset sometimes where I feel like everything I do has to be for a bigger purpose. When in reality, you should just draw because you want to draw, doodle because you want to doodle. Like 
you don't have to have a reason for everything right because you want to write songs you know and i'm trying to get into that but i could definitely feel sometimes i'm like i have to finish this and i'm like for what like i always have this idea that everything i do has to be for the consumption of the public or for someone else's consumption you know but i can keep it all to myself why not if i could have one thing i honestly i would want the new Minecraft update so I can play it because it looks really fun. There's like frogs and stuff. Cute. Like I just I just want to play it already, you know? But I know it takes like a year to fully develop it. So I'll be patient. But I don't know. When I saw it, I was like, I need it. I don't know, I'm like I expose myself too much, I would say. I'm on social media, you know, posting all this and that. I guess like I I started punch needling. These are like some coasters I've made. But yeah, you just have a little fabric and then you punch with a needle. It's a little, it's pretty fun. I started doing that. <laughs> I would aim to put more music out and hopefully I'll be able to write more that you know people can listen to throughout their days and enjoy. I also want to do more art, maybe open up like an online art store or something. I also want a cat. <laughs> you know, once I've settled in, I would like to adopt. I've never really had New Year's resolutions, I don't know why, but I guess if I had to give myself one, it would be to exercise more and stretch more. Because your girl has some back problems, you know, on the lumbar spine situation. And I think I've been trying to stretch more, but I think doing some yoga or stretching every day would be nice. So yeah, that was my once to watch. I'm Stephanie Poetry. Have a great rest of your day. Bye. <laughs>